John here guys and today we're talking about the Beta 95 XV2. This is the DJI edition and as you can see I have loaded this thing up with my GoPro Hero 9. I can't carry it for you but I can carry you. And I wanted to test when this thing came out and it was in a pusher configuration. It's very similar to the V1 that I've reviewed on the channel, but they switched it up to a pusher configuration. This is the DJI version, of course, so that you can actually see where you're going uh, because I wanted to test if this would actually be a better option for indoor FPV with the really good camera, the Hero 9. Um, on a two and a half inch formula, it seemed like it would be a bit lighter than that diatone taken two and a half inch because of, I mean, look at this thing. It's like, it's like the whole thing's almost naked, uh, but I didn't want to use a naked GoPro and I wanted to see how it could handle this. Now, what I did do uh, when I flew it was I actually used that balance plug in order to power this thing. So I had the battery and the battery door off, which saves you 46 grams. Uh, and the results, it actually can fly smoothly. It's a lot less loud than that taken two and a half inch uh, because it is a bit lighter. But would I recommend it for carrying something like this? I'm gonna have to say no. Uh, Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Um, I think this is actually a great option if you're carrying one of those naked GoPros or if you're carrying something like the Insta360 Go. But when you add this much extra weight, even without these things, it's still about 118 grams. It's just too heavy, guys, once you add the battery. Um, if you took it outside, once you get a little bit of wind, it really flies. I mean, you can still fly in a smooth, straight line, but it's just not quite as predictable as I would like it to be. Um, I do have the STL for this GoPro Hero 9 mount. If you want to be able to fly it on your Hero 9, I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, you could get a pinch, a shot with this in a pinch. Um, but if you're going to be flying low and slow, you might as well just walk with this camera. It's actually just as smooth. The image stabilization built into this thing is outstanding. And even walking with it is just smooth if you're going to be higher, flying anywhere. Um, in level if you want to get a quick shot with it it will actually work pretty well but if you want to fly once you get these things all together with the battery you're talking about two minutes of cruising if you're lucky maybe even a little bit less um, so it's the same formula it has the beta 95 x uh, little single board in there and it has uh, your Cadex Vista at the rear. Now I'd modified this camera holder so that it would fit the way I wanted. I wanted to be able to have a nice flat camera. You can see that the angle on this um, GoPro mount is fairly low. It has this isolation mount thing right here. And so this GoPro mount fits right on there. The ba battery fits in like a toilet tank manner. So you do get some fairly good, nice uh, weight distribution on it. But the 1106 4500 KAV motors that you're going to want to run on 6S, it's just not quite enough. You know, it feels better on a 450 milliamp battery because the weight's a little bit less. Um, but you get such low flight times. I'm talking about 60 to 90 seconds. If you put on a heavier 650 or 850 pack, you get a little over two minutes but then the flight performance starts to degrade very quickly. So just too heavy for a full-size GoPro, but if you got one of those naked ones, man, I've seen people having really great footage, and I've seen people posting footage of full-size GoPro, and it is nice and smooth, but what those images don't show you is how hard you have to beat this thing to get it to fly like that. You really gotta push the throttle and it's just not as smooth. I kept thinking to myself, you know what, if I was flying a five inch, I could get closer with a little more precision than this. So unless you just absolutely have to fly around soft targets, AKA people, I don't really see a place for this for a full size GoPro. So, um, but if you are gonna fly one of those naked things or the Insta 63 Go, like I said, this would probably be what I would go with because it is light, it's fairly inexpensive, even with the DJI on board, and you get a really nice, great package. The props have not messed up on me. Um, they're very, very protected in this package. So nice job, Beta FPV. Thanks, guys.